Welcome to the new episode of How Cool Is Math? Here is a quick view to the content in this video. The main topic will start in Today's video is about a topic in trigonometry. The trigonometric functions of a right triangle. We have six trigonometric functions, including sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. In a right triangle, the side facing the opening of the angle, theta, is called the opposite. A side that lies near the opening of the angle is called the adjacent. And the longer side that lies near the opening is called the hypotenuse. Using this right triangle, a relationship is formed. A function will exist between the angle, theta, and the three sides, the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse. The sine function, sine theta, is the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse. The cosine function, cosine theta, is the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. The tangent function, tangent theta, is the ratio between the opposite side and the adjacent side. The cosecant function, cosecant theta, is the ratio between the hypotenuse and the opposite side. The secant function, secant theta, is the ratio between the hypotenuse and the adjacent side. The cotangent function, cotangent theta, is the ratio between the adjacent side and the opposite side. Again, here are the six trigonometric functions. Sine theta, opposite, over hypotenuse. Cosine theta, adjacent, over hypotenuse. Tangent theta, opposite, over adjacent. Cosecant theta, hypotenuse, over opposite. Secant theta, hypotenuse, over adjacent. Cotangent theta, adjacent, over opposite. Now, let's go to sample problems. Find the value of the six trigonometric functions from the figure below. The figure shown will give you the value of the sides. Opposite side is equal to two units. Adjacent side is equal to 3 units. And the hypotenuse is equal to square root of 13. First, we'll identify the value of sine theta. Opposite over hypotenuse. This will give you, 2 over square root of 13. To rationalize the denominator, multiply square root of 13 to both numerator and denominator. The result will be, 2 square root of 13 over 13. Next, the value of cosine theta. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Giving you, 3 over square root of 13. By rationalizing the denominator, the result is 3 square root of 13 over 13. For tangent theta, opposite over adjacent. The ratio is 2 thirds. For cosecant theta, hypotenuse over opposite. The ratio is square root of 13 over 2. For secant theta, hypotenuse over adjacent. The ratio is square root of 13 over 3. For cotangent theta, adjacent over opposite. The ratio is 3 halves. Now, we have all the values of the six trigonometric functions. Sine theta is equal to, 2 square root of 13 over 13. Cosine theta is equal to 3 square root of 13 over 13. Tangent theta is equal to 2 thirds. Cosecant theta is equal to square root of 13 over 2. Secant theta is equal to square root of 13 over 3. Cotangent theta is equal to 3 halves. Here is another sample problem. Find the value of the six trigonometric functions from the figure below. The figure shown will only give you the value of the opposite side, which is equal to 4, and the adjacent side, which is equal to 5. To get the hypotenuse, let us use the Pythagorean theorem. Hypotenuse squared is equal to opposite squared plus adjacent squared. Substituting the values of the two sides will give you hypotenuse squared equals to 4 squared plus 5 squared. Operating the exponents will give you Hypotenuse squared equals to, 16 plus 25. The sum of 16 and 25, is 41. Squaring both sides of the equation will give you, Hypotenuse equals to square root of 41. Now, let's proceed to getting the value of sine theta, opposite over hypotenuse. The resulting ratio is, 4 over square root of 41. Rationalizing the denominator will result to, 4 square root of 41 over 41. For the cosine theta, adjacent over hypotenuse. The resulting ratio is, 5 over square root of 41. Rationalizing the denominator will result to, 5 square root of 41 over 41. 
For the tangent theta, opposite over adjacent. The ratio is, 4 fifths. For the cosecant theta, hypotenuse over opposite. The ratio is square root of 41 over 4. For the secant theta, hypotenuse over adjacent. The ratio is square root of 41 over 5. For the cotangent theta, adjacent over opposite. The ratio is 5 quarters. Finally, we have all the values of the six trigonometric functions for the given figure. Sine theta is equal to 4 square root of 41 over 41. Cosine theta is equal to 5 square root of 41 over 41. Tangent theta is equal to 4 fifths. Cosecant theta is equal to square root of 41 over 4. Secant theta is equal to square root of 41 over 5. Cotangent theta is equal to 5 quarters. Here's a tip when solving math that you need to try. Having problems in memorizing formulas? Don't worry, use mnemonics. Mnemonics will help you in memorizing so many formulas. In this video, we have six formulas. We can use the first letter of each element in the formula. For example, the trigonometric function, sine. You can use S, O, H, S for sine, O for opposite, H for hypotenuse. For trigonometric function, cosine, you can use C, A, H, C for cosine, A for adjacent, H for hypotenuse. For trigonometric function, tangent, you can use T, O, A, T for tangent, O for opposite, A for adjacent. For cosecant, you can use C, H, O, C for cosecant, H for hypotenuse, O for opposite. For secant, you can use S. H, A, S, for secant, H, for hypotenuse, A, for adjacent. For cotangent, you can use, C, A, O, C, for cotangent, A, for adjacent, O, for opposite. Su, Ka, Toa, Cho, Sha, Kao, now, that's easy to remember. It's time for, the quick quiz. We are giving you, Five questions to answer, in 25 seconds time. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. It is the ratio between the side opposite the angle and the hypotenuse. Number 2. It is the ratio between the hypotenuse and the side opposite the angle. Number 3. Opposite, over adjacent, is tangent, what is, adjacent, over opposite. Number 4. Secant, is represented by the ratio. Number 5. The adjacent side, is 4, and the hypotenuse, is 5. Find cosine theta. Whoa, that was fast. Here is the answer's key. Number 1, B, sine. Number 2, D, cosecant. Number 3, B, cotangent. Number 4, C, hypotenuse, over adjacent. Number 5, D, 4 fifths. Here is another set of facts. All about the main topic. Check this out. Trigonometric functions are sometimes called circular functions because of its relationship to a unit circle. The sine and cosine can also be defined as coordinates of a point P moving around the circumference of circle with radius of one unit. The values of the functions repeat itself and is also periodic. The curves formed by the values repeat when they are graphed. One real life example of this is a Ferris wheel. The wheels rotates and completes a revolution. A revolution goes on and on. Words like, repeating, repeatedly, over and over, and seasonal, indicates the presence of trigonometric functions. Let us see, how well, did you do, on our quick quiz. Have you already summed up your scores? The following, is an assessment. Did you get a perfect score? Wow, you're a math, wizard. You score 4 out of 5. You did, well, stay on top of the class. You score 3 out of 5. You need to raise your bar higher. Focus on your goal. You score 2 out of 5. As they say, practice makes a man perfect. You gotta risk it, to get the biscuit. You score 1 out of 5. Oh, I recommend to repeat the video. 
Remember, it's never too late to try again. Thanks for watching.